And that was a very uh, dramatic Kentucky Derby a few weeks back. It was won by Flavian Pratt, but that doesn't necessarily tell the full story. Christina Blacker caught up with the Kentucky Derby winning jockey. We're here at Santa Anita with jockey Flavian Pratt. You're atop the jockey standings here, a banner year having been named the official winner of this year's Kentucky Derby. I want you to take me back, though, just to before that week and that weekend. You had never ridden Country House before. How did you obtain the mount? Uh, well, um, I know Alex Solis, who manage uh, the, the connection of the horse, and uh, we've been good friends, and uh, so he asked me if I would like to ride a horse, so um, of course I say yes. So being out here and, you know, as I say, being at the top of the standings, do you think that puts you in a good position with those East Coast trainers? If Alex wants to go to the Hall of Famer, Bill Mott, and say, you know, Flavian's available, does that make him look at you in a different light with the success you've had here? Well, it pro I mean, it definitely helped. Uh, now it doesn't mean that, you know, they have to go to me first, but it definitely helped, yeah. You've spent some time riding back east as well. Have you had a chance to get to know many connections back there and to keep your options open this time of year? Um, yeah, I mean, I, st I started to build a little bit of business on the East Coast. It's it's harder because most of the time I'm here and uh, you can you can be everywhere. But but I'm starting, you know, having connection and uh, and as of right now, everything goes well. Going very well. Take me into the week leading up. You were on the favorite for the Kentucky Oaks with Bellafina, so I'd imagine you wouldn't expect things to turn out the way that they did. She didn't run her race, but Country House certainly did. Take me through the trip, though, with him. Everything that you remember from start to finish with the Derby. Well, we had a great trip. He actually broke quite well. Um, we were on the outside, so it was perfect. I, you know, I didn't have to rush him, and uh, I mean, we uh, entered the first turn in a good position without being too wide. So I thought it was great. Um, I mean, on his r races before, I used to be really off the pace. Where well, that that day he was actually pretty close, and uh, and you know without asking him. So I thought it was a good, good I mean, a great thing. And uh, then we entered on the backside. I was traveling really well, actually. Was really surprised. And uh, and after that, you know, I just tried to get my my way through uh, through the last turn and uh, and and uh, turning form and after that uh, it was history yeah. it was history maximum security did come out he did impede the path of quite a few horses how significantly did you feel like your horse was affected by what went on well i thought i was affected uh i didn't know how much so that's why actually i, I climbed far i thought you know i thought i've been pushed out it, it's hard at that time of the race it's hard to tell you know if it was a lot or not, and you know it was a derby, and I I didn't want to get back to a jock room and regret all my life that you know I didn't do my best. So I thought you know what well, let's uh, let's 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 look at it, and, uh, and that's what happened. It took the stewards 22 minutes to decide. The longer that they were looking at it, and the longer that you watched the replays, what was going through your mind in that time? Um. Well, we were. Actually happy to run second. I mean, I think the old connection would would be happy with the second place. But uh, as you know, the longer it takes, the better it is when you know. Uh, I mean, in my position, so so I thought it was pretty. Uh, I mean, the longer it takes, I was like, what? Am, am I gonna take him down? And well, when they took him down, it was it was a great feeling, you know, a relief and uh, well, if, you know, I mean, you feel bad for for the connection of the maximum security but you know it's part of races and it is what it is it is and they have to you know, adjudicate the races whether it's the kentucky derby or a race on a thursday in the same manner each and every day did you have any words with Luis Saez afterwards just to sort of kind of smooth things over i know there wasn't any hostility but i imagine it's difficult in his position and also difficult in yours to really soak up the win when he had it taken away yeah it must be difficult we didn't see each other because uh, after after the race you get a go to you know, press conference and stuff. So we didn't see each other yet. But uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, it, it must really, really hard for him. And uh, you know, I, I, I understand his position. I know you're a perfectionist, so I know. Is there a part of you that wants to go back out there and win the Derby again and just have it be all yours, no drama, none of this going on? Uh, yeah, for sure. I, I definitely want to now cross the line first. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean. Uh, you know, uh, at the end, I'm a Kentucky Derby winner, and we're going to try to do it again. Talk to me about the second half of the year. We're coming into June. What are your goals as we go through 2019? Well, there's Denmark. Is, you know, we're going to go to Denmark, and now you got to find a good two years old for the for the end of the year and the, the next year. So, you, you know, you can't, you can't slow down. 
end of the year also has the Breeders' Cup right here at your home track. Does that give you an advantage, do you think? Yes, I think um, I think it's a definitely a, an advantage because you ride horses to run all year long on that track and you know the track really well, you know, so I think, yeah, it is, it is an advantage. You know the track better than anybody. What would you say to any European riders that will be coming over to ride this track for the Breeders' Cup, whether it's their first time or just their first few times being here? Well, I think it's one of the best tra- track in uh, in North America. Uh, we have a great turf and uh, a great dirt too. So I, th- I think I mean, we I mean, Breeders' Cup has been run f- several times here, and I think it's one of the greatest places. You've ridden all over the world. What makes this home for you now? What makes California feel like home, or does it feel like home? It does feel like home. I mean, it's uh, our life. So I mean, life's so good. It's it's amazing. Congratulations on the banner year so far, and keep it going. Thank you. Sylvian Pratt, your Kentucky Derby winner, and keeping that momentum rolling through 2019 here at Santa Anita and beyond. Luck on Sunday, proudly sponsored by Albasti at Cruel, Dubai.